Hey everyone, welcome back to Shader Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the new Randolph Aviator Fusion sunglasses. But first off, we have to thank our very generous sponsor for today's video, ShaderViewStore.com, the absolute best place to get designer sunglasses up to 80% off the MSRP. Again, that is ShaderViewStore.com. So first off, let's go ahead and pop these sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. These sunglasses have 55 millimeter lenses and a 20 millimeter bridge, and it's the standard size of the sunglasses glasses. Randolph also does produce these in a larger lens size, which has 58 millimeter lenses. But I'd say for the average person, you're going to want to stick to the standard size, which has these 55 millimeter lenses. Now, as far as looks go, I absolutely love the looks of these frames. They look really, really nice, and it definitely freshens up the uh, Randolph Aviator style with these absolutely beautiful acetate inserts. And Randolph has actually core matched the acetate fronts to the acetate uh, slim down new bayonet ear rests, which look really good as well. And the core matching here is perfect. So the color here is absolutely identical. They look really, really nice and classy. Now what's really cool about these frames is they're actually completely built off an original Randolph Aviator sunglasses. So basically they just added these acetate inserts, which look really nice onto a normal pair of Randolph Aviator sunglasses. And then of course they also added these slimmed down bayonet temples. So one of the reasons why it's really good is you have the same build quality as an original pair of Randolph Aviator sunglasses. So they are built very, very tough and they're going to last a very, very very long time. Randolph has definitely had a track record of 20, 30, or 40 years now, or maybe even longer. I forgot how long they've been around for, but a very long time. And their build quality here on the original aviators is very, very nice and substantial. These hinges are made out of all metal material, of course. They feel very good, and they're also a very beefy hinge, so you can sit on these frames and you can really abuse them, and they're not going to really have any issues at all. Of course, these sunglasses, just like every pair of Randolph sunglasses, are handmade in USA, and they're gonna say it here in the inner right temple of frames, they say Randolph made in the USA, which is also really nice to see. All Randolph frames are made in Randolph, Massachusetts, which is just south of Boston. And that's actually pretty close to where I grew up, which is really cool. And it's really nice to see an American company still creating a very high quality product here in the United States of America. Now these frames also have fully adjustable nose rests, so you can completely adjust these to your liking, which is very nice. And they also have uh, Randolph's lightweight lenses, so they're going to be extremely lightweight. So you can wear these all day long without any discomfort. These lenses are also going to block 100% of UVA and UVB rays as well, which is extremely important to your eye health. And every pair of the Randolph aviator fusions do have polarized lenses. They're going to have a little P here on the back side of the lens, which of course is there for authentication purposes as well. And Randolph's polarized lenses are really, really high quality. They're gonna do a very good job of blocking out glare, which is going to really help reduce eye strain. And these lenses also have a very nice anti-reflective material, which is going to help reduce sunlight coming in and bouncing off the lens at an angle, causing eye discomfort. Now, another cool detail on these frames is here on the uh, outside right ear rest. We can see it does say uh, Randolph USA. There, which is through the estate, which is a really cool feature. And then if we take a look here at the uh, top bridge sunglasses, we can see they say REUSA for authentication purposes. And then the second bridge is say AF5522, which of course stands for the lens size and the bridge width of these frames. Now, as far as coverage from the sun goes, these are actually going to offer slightly, slightly, slightly better coverage from the sun compared to a pair of original Randolph Aviator sunglasses. And that's simply just because the uh, acetate is gonna protrude a little bit more from the rim of the frames than it would on a pair of original Randolph Aviator sunglasses. So this pair of sunglasses offers very good coverage from sun. So here up top, we can see there's a little gap that sunlight in unprotected. And here on the sides, again, there's a little gap that sunlight in unprotected. Definitely not big. And these are going to offer very good coverage from the sun. So overall, I really do like this pair of sunglasses. I think they look really, really good on face. Now, as far as pricing goes, the sunglasses are going to run you $350, which is one of Randolph's more expensive frames, but it's definitely not cheap to do this absolutely beautiful acetate insert and then these slim down bayonet temples as well is going to add a little bit more uh, price to these frames because it's more uncommon they have to produce these in more specialized batches so it definitely kind of justifies the price uh, being a little bit higher than a regular pair of randolph aviator sunglasses so i definitely think they're worth the money you're definitely going to stand out from the crowd if you're wearing a pair of these sunglasses and again with randolph sunglasses they are built to last a lifetime i personally own and still wear to this day a pair of randolph aviator sunglasses that are 
30 years old and the frames are still absolutely in perfect condition. All I had to do is replace the lenses and I'm still wearing them to this day. So Randolph's definitely offer a lot of value to them, which is really cool as well. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure you hit the subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.